So I was working as a leadership development coach in a number of organizations, and I kept coming across introverts, those people who get their energy from within, who wanted to lead, but felt so much of the time that they were overlooked and they were ignored and much of the time misunderstood. And I also knew about introversion because I've been married to an introvert, my husband Bill, for many years. And I understood and had a sense of the challenges and struggles he faced. So when I looked for a book that could help my clients, I found there wasn't any. And so I decided to write one. And in 2009, The Introverted Leader, first edition, was published. And it focused on the whole message that introverts are leaders and that you don't have to become an extrovert to become effective in the workplace. The book was very well received. In fact, it's been translated into multiple languages. And it gave me an opportunity to travel around the world and see that this wasn't just a problem in the United States, that introverts weren't getting their due, but that is a global phenomenon. Fortunately today, we are in the midst of what I call the rise of the introverts. Individuals are stepping into and owning their strengths and feeling much more confident about being introverted. And that organizations are starting to recognize that they need to really harness introvert power. In this new version of The Introverted Leader, you will find many new tools and techniques and even scripts to help you with what could be challenging leadership scenarios. And there are five new content areas. One is an updated introverted leadership skills quiz to measure your progress. Another is to how do you communicate as an introvert and how you do that assertively. Specific phrases even to use when handling those talkers. You're also gonna learn tips for increasing introvert engagement in all of your meetings. And number four, the best ways to hire and retain introverts and avoid recruiting bias. You're also going to learn how to set up an introvert-friendly environment, including the concept of natural mingling. This new edition, like my other books, Quiet Influence and The Genius of Opposites, is a very practical guide for introverts and leaders who want to get the best out of their entire team. So I do hope you enjoy this edition of The Introverted Leader. It's really my honor to share it with you.